We're gonna get the air hose and we're gonna just, we're gonna, we're gonna. On this episode of Magic Customs, we're getting back on our chassis swap. That's right, our International 1210 getting married to our 2008 Mercury Grand Marquis. We're getting that cab all welded on. Welded it, making all the patch panels, craft time with Dave, you guys love that? Let's get after it. I had a giant mess in this garage. Literally, there's just crap everywhere, I can't even move. We need to make headway on getting the dash back in this, just so we can kind of move it around. That way we have other projects we need to work on. And we need to be able to make sure that, does this thing even still run after it was all disassembled? We gotta put it back, it should be fine. So uh, I'm gonna seam seal it and I'll get back to you. The stuff I got off of Amazon, I don't know if it's any good, it's just seam sealer, but it says you gotta use it the same day you open it. So I don't know, we'll do the best we can with it, honestly. And then we're gonna work it in with a finger, kind of like how we would just do caulk, I guess. You know, we'll just run it in and then just hit it with the finger. That's a mosquito, it's gonna bite me. And then we'll just make sure we get it where we need it, you know what I mean? I'm sure there's a, there's a correct way to do this and I'm not really sure what it is, but I can't imagine we're gonna screw it up too badly. I'm just trying to, you know, tighten it up as far as air goes. I'm trying to keep as much out as possible. You know, just drag it, right? Oop. Get in there. You guys know the drill. You get in there real deep like. I tried to buy a motorcycle this weekend. This we could do a nice little will it start you know some old junk air cooled it's gonna do a quick cafe racer conversion on it for you guys nobody will respond on Facebook marketplace the place is a cesspool marketplace is a cesspool nobody nobody actually wants to sell anything they list when they do you can't get a hold of them and everyone's you know they want a million dollars for garbage Hasn't ran in 20 years, missing half the parts. Yeah, sure, I'll give you 10 grand for that. Why not? For your Kawasaki 400, 19, you know, 81. <laughs> Piece of junk. You guys know that's why I do YouTube, right? Because I talk to myself so much, but it makes me feel better that I'm actually talking to you guys when I'm really not. <laughs> My wife used to come out all the time. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to myself. Sometimes I need an expert opinion, you know? There's every body, body guy in the world is screaming right now. They're like, you're doing it wrong, dumbass. I don't care. It doesn't matter. And this is abstract art. This is, this is makes me think of winter. Really get in deep when you're gonna do some painting. And you gotta breathe deep, like real deep, you know? So you know it's working. I feel like I'm painting my half my arm. Whatever. Don't breathe it. Don't breathe it. Guys, use a respirator. Don't be stupid. Don't be like me. I light things on fire, paint things, no respirator, whatever. Just spray paint. The whole, well, all the garage doors are open. Relax, stop crying. You're gonna get sick. Yeah, I'm already sick. Every part of me is pretty much sick. What are you talking about? There, see? Perfect. Just uh, 63,000 runs. Oh, I still got screws in there. Damn it. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Pull them right out. You don't even see it. That's behind the dash. Perfect. I'm going to sit in here. Get super high. Not a bad idea. So basically, these are our holes we're mounting in. There's nothing really behind, right? Because it's flat steel all the way. 
That is a problem. I'm gonna show you why. Because on the dash, I missed right there. Anyway, this is where it screws in. Anything beyond here protruding back can't, can't be there. So honestly, I think we're gonna have to follow this line and cut all this out. I don't know how much structure is that gonna leave? Probably nothing. That's a problem. I th will a death wheel go through that? <laughs> You're gonna find out. Thing is like eight years old is it finally dead it might finally be dead guys moment of silence for the old drill master from harbor freight this thing is earned its keep we will retire it she's been a good egg take that off of there and throw this in the pile goodbye we used to love you but now we hate you Bad. Oh, the fan is on for a reason. You're fatter in person. I'm sweating. This is this was way harder to put back in. It kind of fell out. I kind of knew that. Like, man, I'm gonna have a hard time getting that back in. And I did. I'm, I struggled. I didn't have you guys on, but you, you didn't trust you guys. You didn't want some bleeding all over the place. You did not want to see that. It was disgusting. Oh, got it. All right, we're in. <laughs> Man, the more I clean this out, the more crap comes out of it. So we're gonna wipe out the whole inside. <clears throat> and then we're gonna start reassembling this dash. Here's the piece that comes with the factory dash. So what I think, if I just trim the front edge and drop it in, it'll have a little bit of an elevation change, but it won't be terrible. This part, We'll sit flush in there and it'll just angle up a little bit. That's completely tolerable. Excuse the fan. So, guys, I immediately grabbed the plasma cutter. Mm, then I thought, meh, brake lines on this side, fuel lines on that side. And with the cordless, if it binds, it literally just stops because there's not a ton of power there. It actually is very comfortable. I already cut this side. I did it in almost no time at all. So I'm just gonna go keep going with the cordless and then I can literally cut it here, like right here, just to get it out of the way. I might make a couple cuts because there is a mount here and I gotta determine what is holding up the gas, the gas tank. So I think we're just gonna cut it across here because I know there is nothing underneath this. Does that give me a lot of room? Not really, but I think I can cut this all the way back to like here. This is real time. This is not sped up. When you guys use these cutoff wheels, don't pull them hard. Let them eat. Let them do their job. I see guys blow these things apart and end up in their face. Do not use them this way. You cannot twist a blade when, once it's down in. Just let it track, lift it back up. I see so many guys have so many accidents with these things. Not saying I've never have. mount right here. Well, that's not good. How am I going to get that off? Yeah, 
gotta peel it like a grape. Okay, all right, yeah, uh-huh. Gonna have to be careful here. We're gonna have to be careful welding. Right, right, right. That's, that's that. Craft time with Dave again. So take our ram board, kind of cut it up haphazardly and just jam it in there. Then use our heavy duty arc captain magnets. Man, these things have been awesome. If you guys want those, I'll have a link in the description. Yeah. You know, it's like, you're, you're really whoring stuff out. No, no, I'm not. I'm telling you stuff that works. Now we got a little push up over there because the wiring harness, but we're gonna feed it in. So basically as it sits right here, we can kind of trace, like, you know, you got to give it a push, you know, but that's where we're at. I mean, the bottom is the bottom. This thing's all kind of banged up a little bit, so that's going to go up and down a little bit. We understand that. That's okay, because other than that, it fits, so we're just going to push this in right here, and we're going to take our marker, and now when we make our piece, we're obviously going to cut on the far end of it, but this should fit literally up into here if I want it to. But I think I'm actually going to put it on the outside, looking at it. It'll cover the whole thing, and then we can slot it on the outside. And then we make one piece. I mean, it kind of may be hard to manage, but I'm not a body guy. You guys know that. I have to have my kid help me. But anyway, we're going to trace it up. And uh, then we're going to put it on... Not that, that's a quarter inch. We're going to put it on this. Shop is a disaster. We got to clean up. Not bad, I gotta make it a little wider in spots, but you know, when it pushes in like this, it fills the gap. When it's in steel, give it like another, maybe eighth of an inch all the way around. I'd rather have too much than too little, but I mean, this gives you the general idea. And we'll make it out of one piece. Moving on with templates. I grabbed one of the spare doors and I just kind of jammed it in here because I'm concerned that when we get in here, if I bring this rocker too far in, it's going to hit the door. But there is a recess at the bottom. So if I come to the inner lip all the way down, so just come out and go straight down where the lip is, we got plenty of clearance. So you saw me cut that, I just put it in the brake. You guys have seen me use the brake a thousand times. I don't have to shamelessly plug the brake video. Um, even though it's a super cool video, you should go back and look for our improved Harbor Freight brake video. Anyway, we're trying to keep this simple. So this is pretty much what we're working with. I trimmed out this corner at the bottom of that with the throatless shear right there. And I think, I think that's gonna be easy. So we'll trim it up here so we're only welding to that part and then we'll do the same thing in the front. We'll just trim it and we'll take that section out. I didn't clearly need that. Um, I figured too big is better than too small. I got a filler piece I got to put in here. That's pretty easy. Um, it should not touch the door. I think. I hope. I hope. And then all I got to do is fill that piece back there. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to go to the brace and then we're going to weld it in there. So we're going to weld the back pieces in. And then we're going to make just a scab in a piece here. Tack it all in. We're going to have to clean up everything we're welding down here. This will have to be all pushed in like that. We'll obviously have to scab in a piece there. And then, unfortunately, it's right through there, if you guys can see that, that's a big rot, rot hole, which I thought I was going to be covering up. Like, I didn't think it was going to be used. Shame on me, but that should fit. And uh, that'll be easy. Basically just gotta make two of these. Wow, someone's zipping down the road. Some trash can slower than death. Just because it's loud doesn't mean it's fast. Harley guys, you should know that. I owned a Harley, relax.
sometimes you gotta sacrifice it lengthways. So I had to slide this hog out, mark it, and then cut a delicious slice off of it. That's gonna be for the back part. But other than that, come come with me. Come, come see. So basically, a couple filler pieces in here, right? This goes actually goes under this one, right? So we're gonna tack all that in, clean it all up, tack it all in, paint the back. Um, but I think that's just how this is gonna live. And then we're gonna have to make a couple filler pieces for the front. Um, I'm not really sure how all that's gonna tie together, but it will. All right, trace it and cut it. And hopefully it's remotely close, guys. I don't know. I mean, honestly, I can fill gaps. I will jump gaps like Evil Knievel. I don't care about that, but my son does not know how to weld and he will most likely turn this into a pile of molten lava. Kind of like in the, in the inside the dash when the car lit on fire. You guys remember that if you watched that video. That was terrible. Keep her tight. Get her tight, boys. Get her tight. All right. I mean, that's the, I, guess, I guess that's the best I can do. So we're going to write on this because I put rear out left. So that's driver's side back. And hopefully when we're done, this little thing just kind of sit in there and we'll use magnets. How do they work? Oh, they're magic. We don't know. We'll use some magnets. We'll use some vice grips, clamping devices, and then we'll... Because I don't have any welding gas. And all we got left is what's in this bottle. And there's one other bottle somewhere. So if we can get it tacked up in this video, it's a lot of work. I mean, honestly, probably not for you guys because you just watched me do that nonsense and fast motion, super special effects. I keep neglecting the fact that uh, that Simder MIG welder I'm using has a plasma cutter built into it. Let me just hook the, I'm gonna hook the air up to it and we're gonna just, we're gonna slice and dice and write our name and I'm gonna show you how versatile that Simder thing is. Uh, we don't use it much. I'm not really sure. I'm probably going to use it a lot more. I really like the welder. It actually welds real nice. Plasma cutter cuts well. Um, like I'm not trying to sell it to you, but it, it for the money, it does everything. So I'm going to drag that thing over here. We're going to plug it in. We're going to get the air hose, and we're going to just we're going to we're going to. So with this machine, you can leave it hooked up, so it'll MIG. And plasma cuts too. The only thing you got to do is swap mm, the ground. Just pull your ground lug out and move it over here. And you're dialed. I mean, it tells you put a, you know, and this is for the plasma. And then you got to go in here. I don't know which button it is. This one. And you got to go find plasma right there. And you got to hit it. Now 50 amps is excessive for sheet metal. So let's do probably, I don't mean 30 amps, probably 30, let's just turn up to 35. We'll try to move fast. Uh, five second, two T, yep, yep, arc start, yep, 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 yes, yes, sure. Go for it. This is a pilot arc unit. So it should just, oh yeah, oh, <laughs> she'll eat. Maybe if I support it. Righteous. Righteous. Well, this was definitely faster than using the death wheel. <laughs> Done. We'll flap the wheel it up. Being a weatherman is the only job you can have and be wrong 50% of the time and still keep your job. Yesterday, they said it was going to be partly sunny today. Um, 
Does that look partly sunny? This is ridiculous. Um, I can't paint anything. I'm doing the best I can painting in here, but uh, I don't have any free space in here at all. So what I did was I'm just cleaning up the edges, basically where I have to weld. I'm not taking all the paint off. I don't take anything off. I don't need to. And I got the other stuff painted up on the back side. I got that one in. Um, this bottle's kicked just about. I mean, a couple hundred pounds. Um, I got this piece tacked in. This one, a couple tacks along the bottom. That's obviously a struggle. It needs to be pushed, needs to be prodded. We need to twist. Same with the back. So I didn't record this, guys, but I had a hard time getting this to line up. And honestly, it doesn't line up the way I want. I just got to be very honest with you guys. You know, I'm trying to be honest about when I build things and when I make things to show you guys that, you know, this isn't Motor Trend TV where they have 85 people working on one project and you only see two guys. And sometimes it just doesn't work out. Um, I think if I spent more time trimming and fitting, it would have been better, but I don't have the time and I certainly don't have another set of hands. I thought my boy was gonna be out today. Um, I had to throw a tech screw in one side and then I tried to line up the other side. It's, there's a little bit of a gap on that side. I'm not even concerned about it. It's where the bed side comes down, um, like this right here, which I'm gonna cut this off anyway. And this gap doesn't really matter, even if I have to scab a piece, no one's ever going to see it. So I wanted this part to sit on top, and then I thought I'd hammer the dents in the floor up. This actually works out better because I can just push against it like this, and I'll weld it on the inside, and then I'll come back with the flap wheel and trim up this outside, on the outside. You know, just in case anyone's like, man, I really want to climb under your car, and and look at the shitty work it, no one cares guys it's your truck i don't see that as important if you do good for you um a couple guys asked that i did more bead work bead roller i mean i don't no one's gonna see any of this i'm not gonna do bead roller work where people aren't gonna see it. if we were doing floors that'd be different <sighs> i thought about bead rolling the uh rocker but honestly i need this truck out of here guys i this we have so my black truck has no oil pressure. That motor has to come apart. But in order to do that, I got to make sure that the Blue 66 is drivable. So we're going to kind of swap around a little bit. I'll still work on this, but I'll save it for like a video where I can get a lot in. I got to get the wiring harness through over there. So I just cut a relief and I cut one on the top. Um, we'll fill it with that, um, you know, that ceiling gum. What's it called? Like the windshield ribbon. And we'll put some... Uh, wrap around it so it doesn't chafe but anywhere this is touching i'm gonna tack it so like up here and then i'm gonna fire it in um i don't have any help so i don't know how i'm gonna get from the outside to the inside but we're gonna get there i might have to do a little trim here because that's not touching or i'll just force it in it doesn't matter guys we're gonna have a, a seam sealer on it no one's gonna see nothing you guys aren't gonna see it i mean you guys will see it but you know it's not gonna be good but it'll be strong it's all that matters Harbor Freight's got a loser with this switch, too. This switch is garbage. Pain in the ass. Not a fan of this thing at all. At all. I'm out of gas. This isn't good. Now it's getting windy and raining. You I think we're gonna have to make another piece in here. Pretty sure. See a lot up.
All right, guys, bottles kicked. Uh, that's as far as we're getting. Uh, we got a lot done. I mean, a lot for me. Maybe not in a video, because I'm going to cut it up real small for you guys. Small, digestible bites. Um, if you like the content, share it. Subscribe to the channel. Helps us out. Uh, we'd love to get a couple more views on each video. That'd be awesome. Uh, build videos don't do really well as far as views go, but we're going to do it anyway, because I, I want to build this truck. This truck's for me. It's not a channel thing. Kind of just getting these things welded in. Uh, obviously, I'm out of, you know, model gas. I got the other side pretty much in. So I'll have to clean it all up, throw some paint on it, and uh, hope it doesn't rust until we can get back to it. Uh, we're going to roll this thing out. we got some other stuff we're going to get done. Guys, if you're looking for a good uh, all-around shop rig welder, uh, the Simder SD4050 Pro, they're having a Father's Day sale on it. I, I'm, I don't make money off that. I just want to tell you that because I really enjoy the machine. Plasma cutter, TIG welder, MIG welder. It slices, it dices, it probably makes hot dogs. I don't know. It does all kinds of stuff. But I think it's only like $7.49, and then you enter to win a full refund of the purchase price and uh, an, an extra add-on package. So if you guys go to Simder's website, I'll have a link for it in the description down there. Maybe you win a free welder if you buy one. I don't know. It's a cool rig, guys. I wouldn't recommend it if I didn't use it, but I used it through this entire process so far, and the thing's been money. You guys who follow us on social media, you guys get the heads up on all this stuff because I kind of post as I as I do things because I work during the week at night after work. So uh, follow us on Instagram, Facebook. Don't do much on TikTok, but maybe I will. And uh, there's the Bias Coffee link if you guys want to support the channel. It's in there. So moving forward with the truck, I think what we're going to do is put, put the, uh, we're going to finish welding it, put the doors on it just so we can send it outside. And uh, then I think we're going to try to fit the bed. Um, that's important to me. Then it'll look like a truck. It's more motivational just for me. I got to get this thing to run again. That's another issue. I hope you enjoy these videos. Uh, throw it in the comment section what you want to see. If you want to you know, see something different or if you enjoy this stuff. And uh, just remember, guys, you watch me do it. If I can do it, you absolutely can do it. Thanks for watching, guys.